it's so windy at the St. John's Wood station. Have you ever wondered why? To learn more about this problem, we talked to various members of the ASL community about what they thought of it. What do you think of the wind problem at the St. John's Wood tube station? I think it's pretty annoying because it's very powerful and it's really cold. I don't really mind that much. I mean, like, it, the worst it does is blow my hood down, so it's not a big deal. Um, it's horrible. I've been I've been blown back meters, but uh, yes, I don't like it. Um, I'm not sure if they can fix it, but it's kind of ridiculous. I once was walking on like a really wet floor, and it almost swept me off my off my feet. Uh, it was actually kind of hilarious. But yeah, I think it might actually be um, a, a safety issue. I always have to cover my hat because I like hats. So like. When it blows off, I always have to hold my hand on my hat to make sure it doesn't blow away. Because one time it did blow away and it hit like the street, and it's like a crosswalk. And I had to like, thank God it was like the green light, but like if it wasn't, I would have died. Or that or the hat would have died. Well, I mean, it's a consequence of science. I mean, uh, I mean, the train creates a vacuum. So, I mean, there's really nothing you can do about it. So, a consequence of science. Now that we had spoken to different students about this problem, we went to see ASL's very own science teacher, Mr. Partridge, to see if he knew more. So I've been asked to explain why it is that when you're coming out or going into the tube station at St. John's Wood, sometimes it's very windy, even though it doesn't seem to be windy outside. And it really is quite a simple thing. It's called the Venturi effect. And what it, what it involves is wind blowing across the doorway and creating a region of low pressure. Now, if you think about it, if you've got any kind of movement of air, like where there's wind, the air is usually moving from an area of high pressure to low pressure, and that's why it's blowing in that direction. And more often than not, as you have uh, wind going across something, that generates a, a region of low pressure across there relative to the high pressure, which is in the tube station. That's exactly the same kind of thing that happens in uh, a chimney. That when you first get a, a, a fire going, sometimes when the fire is going, the smoke kind of fills the room. But if there's a, a breeze which is blowing across the top of the chimney, that will tend to produce a region of low pressure, which will suck the smoke out into the outside like that. So here's a basic visualization of what exactly Mr. Partridge is saying. Let's start out with the situation where the train is leaving the station. It's important to know that the train is currently occupying space, space normally taken by air. When the train leaves, nothing is occupying that space, leaving an area of low air pressure. Air rushes into enter that area as it is fairly empty now that the train has left. There's no excess air inside the station, so it has to come from the entrance, causing the windy effect you feel when exiting the station. It's slightly different when a train comes into the station. First, note that there's an area currently occupied by air. When the train comes in, the train now occupies that space. But the air can't just disappear, it has to go somewhere can't go to the rest of the station because that's already filled with air. So, it has to escape through the entrance. This air is the wind you feel when you enter the station. Now, you may have noticed that this effect does not seem to happen in most other tube stations. This is due to the way that, is, that the St. John's Wood tube station is, is, is designed, with a single above-ground entrance, which is very small in comparison to the underground areas. The entrance is the only source of air for the underground areas of the station, which causes all the air pressure changes mentioned previously to be experienced through one small entrance. This structure of the station can be referred to as a funnel, because the entrance is very small in comparison to the underground area. These types of structures can experience the funnel effect, which causes the wind and air pressure problem at the St. John's Wood tube station. Thank you for watching this episode of The Standard Explained. For more content, visit standard.asl.org.